Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Tabor Talk. So I'm going to talk about the uh, the debate the other night there, J.D. Vance, uh, Tim Walls, the vice presidential uh, debate. Uh, I wasn't going to talk about it because, I mean, historically, really, vice presidential debates are really non-consequential uh, unless you really, really flop, like, say, going back to Sarah <laughs> Poundland, remember John McCain's pick was that 2008, whatever. But generally speaking, it doesn't move the needle, right? So uh, I waited a couple of days and I'm seeing the polling and I was right. Basically, it's a wash, right? So some polls show that Tim Walls won slightly, like 42 to 41. Other polls like CNN, what's up with CNN? It's advanced one. But the general consensus is that J.D. Vance won on style, whatever, and Tim Walls won on substance. Now, the fact that J.D. Vance basically lied throughout, um, but he ex the way he lied was was sort of convincing, you know, like he's he's uh, his his used car salesman way of telling these the, these these bold faced lies, right? So. Um, there were uh, three other things. Three points were really did not help J.D. Vance uh, on abortion. The way he responded to abortion, people did not like that. Um, the school shootings, right? He said, let's see. No, don't get rid of the assault weapons, the, the AR-15 or whatever these guns are, um, but have... Uh, better security, uh, i.e., uh, you know, thicker windows, stronger doors. I'm like, what the, what are you talking about? That was a turnoff. And then the biggie was who won the election towards the end in 2020, and he wouldn't answer. He said, oh, I don't want to, th let's just think about the future, right? Let's just think about the future. People were turned off by that, right? So if you looked at all these focus groups, and they were asking about him, who won the debate? And everyone basically said Tim Walls. And that was the thing, the fact that he would not answer that. Now, I got, I'm going to show you something right here. Uh, this is really disgusting. This just came out um, uh, just now. And it's a guy from the True Liars or something. I, don't, I forget what it is, but it's a kind of a satirical kind of journalism. And you want to talk about how evil... J.D. Vance is, how disgusting this guy is, his smug way about him. Just watch this. Uh, I'm not going to download it. It's only like a minute. It's not even a minute. It's like 30 seconds. Just watch this. Who, who won the 2020 election? Did you, just answer, did, did Donald Trump win yes or no? Yes. He did win. So will you, will you concede? Will you concede? If your opponent gets... Your opponent gets more votes. Stop. Will you concede? I really feel bad for you, man. <laughs> I, 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 really I just want to know if your if your opponent gets more votes, will you concede? Yeah, oh my god, I really feel bad for you, man. What a fucking thug, man. What a scumbag. Yes. Oh, don't he, doesn't he have like a face that you want to just fucking? <laughs> this guy is so disgusting. Is he very intelligent? Yes. Is he educated? Went to Yale. He's a lawyer, right? Uh, um, the whole thing, wrote a book, you know, Hillbilly Elegy. Uh, is he a well-spoken guy? Is he a good debater? All that. Yeah, he has all those things. But people could see through. See, it's just because you're intelligent and all that. You're just lying through your teeth. Really, really disgusting guy. Um and the bottom line is, it it really is a wash. Overall, people still like Tim. Look, Tim Walsh, his favorability went up like nine points. I think um, J.D. Vance went up a little bit, likability. But then again, he was in the basement, uh, you know. But overall, still favorability. It's it's really still, it's, it, it was absolutely, I say, a win for Tim Walls. All right. Uh, on that note, I'm going to keep it nice and short. Um, good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here on Tabor Talk. Okay, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. You know you want to.